It's not your policy to take pictures with your personal phone. All right? Learn your fucking job. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm doing a First Amendment audit in the city of Pawtucket. We're going to see if they respect our First Amendment right to film in public. No, that's where they keep the stolen bicycles from the evidence room. Nope, he's a cop. It's called a cam back. Turn your phone the other way, you get a better picture. You don't know how to use your phone? Can I get your name and badge number, please? We're gonna request that if that's your personal phone. It's not your policy to take pictures with your personal phone. All right? Learn your fucking job. I'm gonna request that. so dumb recording us <laughs> with his phone which is against his own policy they just walk up to the camera and do the wrong shit all the time
Yep. Look at this freezing, dude. It's all freezing up. I bet you they're mad as hell we're taking them driving their personal vehicles. I love how he's a three percenter. What does that mean? Three percent of this country is what stood up and fought against the British. Hmm. Originally, like that's basically the premise of it. The cops in here, so. No blinker. Yeah. Mo most of these guys don't even live in Rhode Island, bro. I know, I've noticed that too. <laughs> Look, Massachusetts. He's got a mask tag too. What's up? Did I meet you yesterday? I did. We had a good what? conversation. Why are you taking a picture of me? I didn't even take a picture. That wasn't you? That was me. I held up my phone. I didn't take no picture. All right. All right. Yeah, All right. I so, am right now. So you, who do you work for again? Not for the public. I work for you too, gentlemen standing before me. You're you, the boss. You do. Hey, you guys taught me. You're the boss. Look, how long have you been a cop? Uh, almost four years. Four years. How many? Corrupt police officers have you arrested? Everyone that ever conquered. How, how many police officers have you have you written a ticket for a traffic violation? I don't know. Never. Wait, wait. Are you allowed to use discretion whenever you want? In most cases, there'll be certain cases we know. No Which is only when you have your lights on, right? Does that mean? So you're allowed to take discretion on on roadways only when you have an emergency lights on, right? Yeah, that's how it works. You can't just use not use your blinker whenever you want. You have to use your lights to be able to, to violate traffic laws, to go through intersections, to avoid, you know, like using a blinker and like all that. No, I was I was referencing if I see another driver make a turn, maybe like to use your example, yeah. blinker. I don't have to give him a ticket. I don't have to stop. Him. No, you if don't. There's, if there's nobody around, that's what I was saying. It's the kind of the tree falls in the woods effect. Oh. If nobody's around, is it really hurting? I like stuff? you saying that right now because I got a ticket. It's all on my YouTube channel. Okay. And I took a U-turn, which is legal. And they're trying to send me as illegal. They pull me over in a very unsafe manner on the highway and everything like that. And they're saying, "Yo, we're not here for your safety." Yep. And there was no way. There was no cars around in the middle of the night, like 3 a.m. So you know, you saying that right now kind of proves a point to me about. We don't have to. What? We don't have to write the ticket. He right. You don't have to. Have to. Right. You don't have to. You could. Yeah. You could go after him. Absolutely. But I, I think if you did go after him, there's no cars around. That's a fishing expedition, and you're just trying to get something else against him. 
It's not about just the traffic stop. For, Do you have anything on your on your record as a police officer? Like, has anybody ever filed complaints on you? Uh, yes. How, um, how many times, approximately? One time. Just one time. Were you guilty of that, or was I guilty? what was yes. the outcome? I was guilty of violating policy. I was guilty of violating policy. Yes, I was. Okay. Well, we all made we all make. I made a mistake. I learned. I mean, I move on. That's fair. We all make mix, make mistakes. That's good. Do they give you? you a certain amount of strikes and complaints? Um, I think they kind of have discretion too, depending on what it is. I mean. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. It's a seriousness of offense. But if you it's like terminated a terminated for one offense. Yeah. Depending on what it is, I mean. Right. Right. I um, mean, obviously, like if it's a habitual, like minor offense. Habitual minor, you may be found incompetent. I'm not. How long have you been a police officer? I got you. You're new? Good. Yeah, you look young. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't ask the age. <laughs> um, See, I'm, I'm open to conversation. Well, this okay, I love. all right. What are you guys doing right now other than talking to us? We are getting ready to change over. So you're going into the station? Done, so we just up the car. Oh, oh, I see. And then we ran into you guys, and I'm happy to talk to you. Okay. So when you do it with what is perceived as the goal of getting a police officer fired, they kind of mess no. with it. No, no, no. That's up to the police officer. Oh, and that, like that's up to the, no, no. See, if, if they, if you guys violate our rights, then we're gonna have to file complaints just because, like, these guys should not be working in an office if they're gonna act like this, you know? So, I mean, that's on you guys. That's well, not. Yes that's, and no. Yes and no. It's on us to control our own behavior. But I mean, even if I, if I, if I behave 100% spectacularly, I'm gonna be put on YouTube. Maybe not by you guys in particular, but by some YouTubers out there that's gonna be. Horrible cop breaks his oath or whatever the highlight is. You know, it's clickbait. I understand yeah. it. That's how you make three thousand dollars a month. I get it. Right, right. It makes like, sense. It's intelligent. But you judge a book by its cover. What does that mean? So like you're I'm, just seeing like the clickbaiting I'm, information. Obviously, yeah. it's going to get I'm you into it. I'm saying it happens a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't, I haven't researched anything you guys do. I don't know what you do. I'm well, I don't clickbait. Whatever you see on my title is whatever, whatever you get okay. on my content. Sure. You know, it's. They're very like this. I would say. So what would you title this? Yeah, this. Title? I'm gonna. We don't. We don't work for you. This is, this is very like. <laughs> this is like right in the middle right now. No, this um, is. This is the, the title will be. Um. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. And then, dash. We don't work for you. Exclamation point. <laughs> and then like your face giving me like the evil eye. <laughs> Like the other guy, <laughs> you gotta see my last yeah, video. Yes, no, I'm looking eyes. into the sun right now. I can't no, see I just—it's just this guy, one of your. Oh, another guy. Yeah, from okay. yesterday, dude. He looked dangerous. I was like, oh, he's crazy. <laughs> Guys, if you believe this is really a problem in the community, we're more than open to discussion. If you're here to start trouble and try to no, catch not here us, to start trouble. Okay. We're not here to start what trouble. We just want to film. I want, we want to see what's your reaction. How you, if you're gonna respect it or not? Well, well, I'm telling you, the majority of the time you, we actually do this poorly because of your predecessors who kind of set the standard really low. Yeah, it's I a reputation that the YouTube is a person men and auditors. It's the kind of reputation you guys kind of have. So you can change that. Did you know? Well, Ro I could just say the same thing back to you: is that the reputation of what how we get in reactions are right. unacceptable and like that it should change. So, so if you want us oh, not right. to get hits, you just and basically you act. What? Right. What, the reputation of a police officer in America has been tarnished. From what, though? From what? How has it been tarnished? The reputation of a police officer? Because of the police officers. Not because of the public. We can, we can debate about that all Debate? Day. I mean, it's been proven over and over again. You have an Attleboro police officer, you know, uh, with child porn. You have a Woonsocket police officer raping a man in a bathroom. You have all these things that are going on. I mean, I can go on and on you're with stories. And in, in, in Pawtucket, I can tell you The, the, the same tyrant from Woonsocket, Sergeant Glowed from Woonsocket. Tyrant. tyrant that that he needs to touch you to talk to you. Okay? okay? You know, wonder who's a tyrant? I don't know him. Jared Boudreaux. Slam me on the floor, you know frame me on the disorderly conduct. Division, right? He's not, no. He was. They, they, or they gave him that some sort of status in there, but like he uh, beat up and pepper sprayed a guy at D'Angelo's. The uh, two weeks later, they arrested a guy for op uh, legally open carrying on his own property, which they, they didn't charge him for anything. They gave his gun back and everything, and then he was put into as an SRO officer and tackles that kid. Right. And he gets promoted for it. Come on. That's that's 
that's quite the summary you have. That's that's just within like a six month span. Right. Yeah, that's and pretty if you horrible. Sit down and discuss the facts of every single case. Yeah, I, man, I don't know. 